So here's a before and after of a Kim Kardashian makeup look that I did. So right about here, I'm actually cleansing the skin with number seven cleansing water. Also prepping and priming the face with Ember Elise um, under eye cream as well. And now I'm utilizing the Kevin Aquan for highlighter. And that is the Kevin Aquan concealer for highlighter. And you'll see I'll start highlighting the T-zone areas of her face. I'll start blending out with the Beauty Blender just to go ahead and get a seamless finish. And I'll blend out all areas of the T-zone. And as you can see, those areas of that T-zone are really, really highlighting beautifully. And the blend is coming out so natural. And it should really give us a beautiful glow to her skin. And just blending on out the area of the um, under eye into the cheek area. Because Kim Kardashian really wears her highlighter a bit, you know, lower than the average concealer would be. So we like to go ahead and apply it on that cheek area and blend it out really, really well. And now I'm applying Makeup Forever HD Foundation in her actual skin complexion and blending that out as well. And I'm applying this foundation into all areas that I did not um, actually utilize the Kevin Aquan highlighter just to go ahead and blend. I'm applying a bit more Makeup Forever foundation just to blend in. And you really wanna blend out those um, harsh lines And just blend it in again with the Beauty Blender in all areas of the face. And utilizing a smaller Beauty Blender to go ahead and get those little hard to reach areas as well. And here it is, I'm applying more HD uh, Makeup Forever Foundation in slight of a darker color because her forehead is just slightly darker. And now I'm applying eyeshadow and that is all that glitters by MAC on the actual lid to go ahead and give her a pop of color on that lid. And then I'm gonna blend it out just so we will not have any harsh lines, no demarcation lines. And here I'm applying um, Makeup Forever for a Papa's eyeshadow in the actual um, crease and also outer rim of the eye and blend it in and blend it out as well. I'm applying a little bit of um, black eyeshadow underneath the eye from my Naked palette and also um, utilizing the um, Maybelline liner to give her eyes that deep sultry look and to give her eyes that fierceness. And I'm utilizing the uh, Bobbi Brown gel liner and which I really, really love. Be able to create great precision lines and it doesn't bleed when applying. And here I'm applying false lashes underneath as well as over top. And the lashes that I used on top were wispies and then I applied individuals underneath as you can tell right here. And I applied it to both eyes. And now I'm doing uh, the contouring and the uh, stick that I'm actually utilizing to contour is Walnut and it is by Black Opal and I love this particular chocolate um, cream stick by Black Opal 
And if you have any sort of browns, you know, within your um, makeup kit, you can go ahead and utilize it. Um, just make sure that it has, you know, more yellow than red, if anything, inside of the brown. And I'm going ahead and utilizing that same black oval to contour her nose. And I'm applying a bit of blush, Pinch Me, and also Desert Rose by MAC. And now I'm filling in her brow with uh, Spike by MAC. And also, I will be utilizing um, Dior. And I love the Spike by MAC because it creates a really, really defined line. But then I love to go in with Dior because it gives it more of a natural appeal, as you can tell. Just simply beautiful. <laughs> and I'll just put a bit of concealer at the top, right underneath the eye, just to give it a bit of a pop. And now I am utilizing a pink lip liner to just go ahead and outline her lips. And I'm applying my particular lipstick called Hug Me, which will be out um, spring, summertime, along with Lip Gloss Flower Child. And here I'm actually going ahead and just trimming up her under uh, lashes and applying a bit of banana power just to go ahead and, especially towards those contour areas, to go ahead and give her a beautiful highlight and to set the and to set the makeup. You always want to set the makeup. And now I'm utilizing a uh, mascara by Boxum and a bit of highlighter by Hourglass just to give it a beautiful glow that the Kim Kardashians typically have. And I love, love, love this highlighter. And there you go. There's the finished look, guys. Thank you.